Hey, what's up guys? It's a Saints fan and welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Earlier this morning, Rockstar released a Lowriders trailer for the upcoming DLC and what I am going to be doing in this video is taking you guys through it and showing you some of the stuff you may not have seen the first time around. But before we actually hop into that, I want to show you guys the six cars that are going to be coming or that are a part of this DLC. So like I actually showed in a picture yesterday, the first one is the De Classe Moonbeam. That is the van with the sliding doors and you'll probably see it or you probably saw it in the trailer. It definitely looks really cool. I'm excited for it. The other new car is the Willard Faction. Apart from those two, the other ones are either reskins or the same car just with a lot more customization. So we have the Albany Buccaneer, but we did see in one of the screenshots that it can actually go topless. There's the clean De Classe Voodoo, which obviously that'll probably be a new car. There's the Albany Primo or Primo, however you say it, and then the Vapid Chino. One thing I do want to point out is that if you remember in the leaked coding found uh, from Fun MW2 a while back, I think there was actually 12 cars. So just don't be surprised if maybe in another month or something like that, we'll see a part two for this DLC. But those are the six cars that are going to be a part of this Lowrider DLC. Like I said, there's only going to be two new cars to the game, but it still should be really fun because the other cars are going to have a ton of customization to do. All right, now getting into the trailer, I'm not actually going to replay it again. If you haven't seen it, I will leave a link in the description for you to check out. But the pictures I will be showing you guys from a guy on GTA forums, he sort of went through it and picked out a lot of stuff. So let's just hop right into this. The first thing is on the right hand side, you can see that is a peyote up there, possibly in repair. I don't know if that means anything just yet. I mean, it could just be a prop to make the custom shop feel, I guess, more like a custom shop, if that makes any sense. But it could potentially be in a part two for this DLC. So just, just note that. The next thing we see that, again, like I said before, uh, this is the faction, and you can see in the top right it says Willer. They're just missing the D there, but the Willard faction, that's what it's going to be called. Continuing on, we're actually going to be seeing new license plates. And I think you can see a few other ones throughout the trailer, but this one obviously is the best shot. Two things about this next picture. One, if you actually watch the trailer, the bobblehead isn't like a static object. It actually will move, which is awesome. And you can get a custom dashboard, which looks really, really cool on the left side. Continuing on, the Tech 9, the maker of it is engraved on the side. So pretty nice detail there. Also here, you can see this is a golden buccaneer. The new clothing options, as you can see, there's a new hoodie, a new hat, obviously the earrings, the, the chains and everything. Definitely looking forward to that. One thing that's really cool is that, I mean, at least with this one where it says Vagos, it glows in the dark. So that's going to be pretty neat. I'm hoping and we probably will be able to change that color, but so far that's definitely really awesome. Here's another picture of some of the new clothes. As you can see, the guy in the middle. This next picture, it shows a new license plate holder. And if you guys watch the screenshot in depth video I did yesterday, you saw that, you know, there was a skull version of this too. So it looks like there's going to be different license plate holders we will be able to choose from. Here's another screenshot where you can see a new license plate as well as some of the customization on the Voodoo and the Primo in the back. One of the last things I actually want to mention is in this picture, you can see that in the background, there's actually a Banshee in the new custom shop. So this is sort of making me question whether or not this custom shop is just for the low riders. Could there be new customization for these sports or supercars? I don't know. Let me know what you think of that in the comment section. But if there is, that's actually going to be pretty dang cool. So I'm definitely going to be checking that out the minute I get into the game. That is it though. If you guys noticed anything else that was sort of hidden in the trailer, let me know in the comment section. Honestly, this really does look like one of the coolest and, and best DLCs that's going to be coming out for GTA Online. And I don't know if it's a coincidence that this is, you know, the first DLC or second DLC, I guess, after they announced they're not going to be continuing for the last gen. But whether it is or not, I'm excited and I hope you guys are as well. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like if you did enjoy and found this video helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss other awesome GTA content. And as always, see you guys in the next one. It's your boy Saints fan. I'm out. Peace.